Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and Apple released a new AirPods firmware update, bringing them to version 5E133. The AirPods update 5E133 is available for AirPods 2, AirPods 3, AirPods Pro, AirPods Pro 2 or second generation, and AirPods Max. Those are available now anywhere around the world, you should have this update at the exact same time as everyone else. Now, initially you may have heard that the update was released earlier, then they pulled it and then they brought it back. They had some issues with the download files in the background and they sort of pulled it softly. They didn't tell anyone and then brought it back and then it just started working. So I wanted to show you how to check the version number you're currently on, how to update your AirPods, and then we'll talk about what's new. Now, in order to check the version number, just go ahead and connect your AirPods to your device, to your iPhone, give it a second to connect. We'll go into settings and hopefully this will connect quickly. Sometimes with more devices around, it takes a moment or multiple tries. There we go. It showed up. It took a little bit of time. And if we scroll down, you'll see here that we're on the previous version of 5B59. It gives the case update version of 1.3.9 and then the current version. In order to update these, it's pretty simple. Sometimes you can just leave them near your iPhone. If you wanna update them at night, when you go to bed, you can do that. But if you wanna update them right away, what I typically do is make sure they're charged to at least 50%. These are currently at 49%, but make sure they're charging while you're updating. They're connected like this. Then sometimes place one in your ear, maybe play a song for 30 seconds. This typically seems to fix the issues if it's not updating or connecting properly. Then go ahead and place it back in the case. Again, typically you wanna make sure they're charging or charged up. Then all you need to do is close them next to your iPhone. You can lock your iPhone, walk away, or use your iPhone, and then they just update, usually within about 15 minutes. Now, if you're not seeing that, you can repeat those steps, or the fastest way to update them is just plug them into a Mac using a lightning cable. Plug them in, come back in about 15 minutes, and they're typically updated. Now to check if your AirPods have been updated, these have already been updated, the AirPods Pro 2. You'll see it connected pretty quickly, go into settings, go into the same menu here, scroll to the bottom, and they're updated to the latest firmware, 5E133. You can tap on that and see the version and case number as well. And so as far as this goes, if you don't have an iPhone or an iPad or something you can update them with, Apple has actually said you can now bring them to a service center or a store. So on their support document, you'll see here, it says if you don't have an Apple device nearby, you can set up an appointment at an Apple store or with an Apple authorized service provider to update your firmware. So that's something they updated today and you can see the latest firmware versions. Now, as far as what's new, all they say here is bug fixes and other improvements for version 5E133 with the release notes. But one thing I noticed right away is how quickly they connect. Immediately they connect. And that's a great thing. And I've found no crackling whatsoever. So once they're connected, you're listening to music. I haven't had them disconnect at all. There's no crackling. And I noticed extremely fast switching between iPhone and Mac. So when I was using my iPhone, I went to my Mac connected them and they connected immediately. Let me show you how quickly they connect back. So I'll connect them to my Mac. I'll put one in my ear here. We'll just put one down on the table. You'll see they're connected to my iPhone already. If I go to my Mac, so it's playing on my Mac right now. If I go onto my iPhone, hit play, immediately it switches over. And I mean immediately. It's just immediately playing like you would expect. So it's very fast to switch back and forth now. I don't know if this is what they fixed as they haven't said, but it works great and switches very quickly back and forth. You just click connect on the Mac, you're listening to the Mac. Go back to the iPhone, it auto switches back to the iPhone. It's really very quick. Also one thing I noticed that I can show you is if maybe we're playing a song. So if I play this song here, I'll just turn it down a little bit, but if I play this song, it actually recognizes when it's in your ear and when you remove it quickly. So if I go ahead and hit play, it's playing. We'll give it a second here. And if I unplay it here or take this out of my ear, that simulates it by taking my finger off the sensor put it back on like I put it back in my ear, you can see how quickly it plays again. So again, it plays and then it doesn't. So very, very quick to resume. This seems much, much faster than what we've had before.
Also, noise cancellation and transparency seem to be excellent with no perceptible changes. I've really had no issues with them already and they sound great. So I don't really think there's a difference there. Sound quality seems to be the same as well. I do wish Apple would give us an easier way to update them. Just go into our settings, hit update, and allow us to update those in the future. Maybe one day we'll have that, but right now we currently don't. So maybe in the future we'll have that. I really hope we do. Other than that, though, there's not much more to talk about. Hopefully that helped you install the update. And if you found anything else with the AirPods update, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, it will be linked in the description as it always is. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.